bitches. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to vlog today. I've been trying to vlog more often because I haven't been doing that very much. And there are a few people out there that like listening to me rant for hours upon hours about absolutely nothing. Congratulations. I mean, you're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know about you guys. It's supposed to feel like spring, but it feels like we're on the cusp. Why did, why did I do that? The cusp of winter. Wow, Dory. We know where your mind goes. Um, but yeah, seriously, it feels like we're really close to winter, not spring. We're not in the mid of spring. We should be... Actually, it was like really hot like the last couple weeks. It was 70s and almost 80s, and it was like kind of windy, a little muggy, but it wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty nice for sweating your balls off. I didn't even mind it that much, and I hate being sweaty. Although I've been working out more, so maybe that I'm kind of desensitizing myself because I'm like kind of always sweaty now. At least in the mornings, except today. I, I don't work out on Fridays because... I'm too busy in the mornings, um, which I don't really have a lot of time to hang out here. Because I just start waking up my husband. Because apparently an alarm clock does not help this guy. He has to have physical contact of me shaking him to death. I don't know why that's a thing. He's just a really difficult person to wake up. And apparently his mom's the same way. I've never tried waking her up, but apparently they're very similar. That's kind of annoying. I put a bow in my hair today. Okay, so I'm thinking about really like buying a box of bright red hair dye, like fire red, not burgundy, not like a deep red. I want like a bright red. And I was thinking about dyeing my hair that color. Would that suck? I think it would could it could be really cool. But then, I mean, if it grows out, that's no big deal. I can just chop it all off again. Um, but, I'm, I mean, I like my blonde hair. I'm just so, I get so bored with my hair so easily, so I'm constantly changing it. Like, um, it was, well, it was like almost black. Last time it was like really dark brown, and I liked that color. I really liked that too, but, you know. After it grew out and everything, and I cut it, and it slowly turned into my normal hair color. This is this is mine. This is all me. I'm this like sandy blonde. I've always been a blonde growing up. I used to be a lot lighter when I was younger. I think when I hit like my junior year in high school, that's when it started darkening a bit. And then after high school, it just got a little bit darker and darker. So now it's like a sandy blonde. But um, I mean, it's still pretty pretty blonde considering there are people out there like celebs that everyone's like oh she's such a blonde and I'm like, I'm like not really her hair is kind of lean on the brown side um like I'm pretty sure me and my sister Katie have the same hair color but she dyes hair as burgundy and she's always been burgundy for years and then my other sister Greta she's I think she's a little bit like a light brown, um, but she she has like her natural hair color, but then she kind of ombre but reverse. She um, like did blonde on the ends, and she's got long hair, so that's that was kind of interesting. I used to have super long hair, like I don't even know where the pictures are. Like in middle school and early high school, my hair was like down here, and it was like bright bright blonde and it was kind of like straight but it would curl on the ends and that's all natural and I mean I I liked it at the time but I think it was more so my mom really liked it and she didn't she never wanted me to cut it or dye it or anything so now as an adult I'm kind of like I want to do this I want to do this I just want to try everything um one thing I will never do ever 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 again is bleach my hair I almost almost bleached my hair one other time um but i did it once i did it right before i got married because i wanted to be blonde for my wedding i don't know why 
I just I was like, I want to be somewhat natural looking, but it wasn't really because like the top of my head was like super white, and then it was like kind of blonde, and then it was like this reddish blonde. Drop it. It was really weird. Uh, my hair was kind of funky. I was super fat for my wedding. It, it, like, I hate my wedding photos. Everyone's always like, you know, I mean, I didn't really care. Like, I cared at the time. I don't really care that I was fat then. I don't care. I mean, I still feel like I'm similar to the same size. I don't think I've really changed that much. Um, I just dress better. Um, I dress a lot better than what I used to. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know if it was like the dress or what, but I was big in those pictures. Um, and I don't have very many wedding photos because I, you know, I didn't have the chance to take pictures of everything. And everyone, like my family was nice and they took pictures. And my, I think my uncle sent me some, but that's about it. But honestly, at this point, I don't even want them. I just want all the pictures of my daughter walking me down the aisle because she's the cutest freaking little baby ever. She was supposed to be my flower girl, but she wouldn't go down by herself. And my dad had passed away um, a year or two beforehand, so I couldn't have my dad walk me down. So I asked my grandpa, and um, which was my dad's dad before, and he had passed away about a year or two ago. Um, I got, I got married when I was 19. Don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. Um, I just, I do kind of wish I would have waited, but I was lucky in the sense that me and Andrew worked out pretty well. Um, it just worked out pretty well. But yeah, my grandpa was going to want me down, but him and my grandma got really sick beforehand. And, uh, cause I was going to have like my daddy song with him too, but that didn't work out. So I ended up having to use my my stepdad, which I don't really know how I feel about him, even after all these years. He's been in the family for like seven years, and I don't know. I I don't want to get too personal, but I don't really have a relationship with him. Um, I'm just now starting to have a really good relationship again with my mother, so I try not to really dwell on him too much because... I don't want I don't want my relationship or my or lack thereof with him to ruin what I have with my mom. So um, my me and my mom's relationship used to be pretty bad, and uh, so now I I didn't I didn't want I didn't want that anymore. I didn't want to have a strained relationship with her anymore. So now I just text her all the time and I'm like I love your face. So that kind of helps, um, and we're seeing each other more often, which is nice. And the kids are like a part of her life and. She's a part of theirs, and I really like that because she's kind of the only connection I have left with my dad, and it sucks because, like, I I don't really see his family that much, and, you know, and my, you know, my sisters are there, but I, one of my sisters lives really far away, and she can only visit, like, every so often, and, and then my other sister I don't really see very often because she works a lot, and, you know, everyone's just always busy, so it's just hard to, you know get that connection with my dad but you know what's crazy um a lot of people don't realize this I mean my son Ivan he looks a lot like his dad Andrew but he has my dad's eyes and my dad's mouth and I think kind of his hair too there's a baby picture of my dad and they look really close and it's kind of freaky <laughs> and I love it because it's like I get to be around my dad again and it's really nice um, I miss him a lot, I really do. Uh, he died when I was, I had just turned 17, he died 11 days after my birthday. I remember counting it, um, and just being so mad that it was like, I mean, not that him dying any other time would have been any better, but I was like, why did it have to be so close to my birthday? I felt like my birthday killed him or something, I don't know. Um... For those of you who don't know, my dad died in a motorcycle accident, which, honestly, if he were to go, that'd probably be the best way for him. I can't see my dad being sick in bed or, you know, something along those lines. My dad was an avid scuba diver and motorcycle enthusiast, so it makes sense that he would pass away doing one of those. And, um, 
You know, it sucks that he's not around anymore. He never got to meet my kids. Um, I, I, um, he passed away, and then my daughter was born three months later, and that really sucked because uh, he didn't get to be there. And uh, my mom had similar problems. Her dad had passed away from a heart attack um, in her 20s, and he had never got to meet any of her kids either. So me and my mom kind of have that bond where it's like, I get it, you know, it's sex not having them around. And, you know, dads don't get enough credit. I think people are always like, oh, are you close to your mom? Like, are you close to your dad? I was like, you should be close to your mom and your dad. Everyone should have a special relationship with their parents. Um, that's why I'm, you know, reconnecting with my mom because I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to something happen and then wish that I would would have done something. I'm I'm not gonna do that. Um, and I think that's really important. I think there was a lot of a lot of pain and stuff going on, but you have to push that aside because. They're your family, you know? They're the only ones you have. And uh, you don't want them to get hurt or for something to happen to you and then you won't be able to fix it. So I'm trying to do that now. I'm trying to build a better relationship. I'm not going to talk about what happened between me and my mom. Um, I, I, I've talked about my dad before actually in videos, but I've never posted it. So, this is kind of a big deal for me. <laughs> I don't really like talking about it too much because I I mean, I get sad, but I always feel like I'm I'm telling everyone my problems and that like you know, like I'm burdening people. I've always felt that way whenever I talk about my dad. So I try not to because I feel like I put everyone down, and I put them in a bad mood, and I don't want to be that that guy. <laughs> So, but yeah, what is on your head? Chocolate? Chocolate. So anyway, um, I got really personal in this video, I'm not really sure why. Um, if you guys have similar stories or have had, you know, lost a loved one, you know, feel free and talk to me about it, you know, I'm, I'm always willing to listen. And, you know, you guys are always sweet and always listening to me, so, I mean, I can show the common courtesy of listening to what you guys have to say. Um, he's been gone for a long time. I mean, I'm 25 now, and he passed away when I was 17, so it's been a long time. But uh, I remember for my birthday, he got me, I was pregnant, which was weird. You know, how do you tell your dad that? And, um, which he took it pretty well, actually. I was very surprised. Um, he was the only person who asked me if I was okay. And so that just goes to show that you should really talk to your dads more often. If you're really close to your mom, talk to your dads, dude. I, I wish I would have talked to him more about, like, personal things, because I think he would have gave me really good advice. Um, but he gave me this movie called Howl's Moving Castle. I'm a huge Hayao Miyazaki fan love him. I think he did one, he's doing like one last uh, movie. Although, so he says. I think he's said that before and he does another movie anyway. But I don't think it's been translated to English yet. I don't remember what it's called but it looked awesome. Um, but he gave me Howl's Movie Castle and I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies ever. You should go check it out. It's a Hayao H-A-Y-A-O I believe. Miyazaki, I don't know how to spell that, um, but he is an amazing person. Uh, he does uh, Studio Ghibli, which is like a bunch of different things. Um, he did Princess Mononoke, Ponyo, Spirit of the Way, um, all these amazing films. Kiki's Delivery Service, Castle in the Sky. Um, those are just the ones I own. Um, there's tons more. Um, I think his son did The Tales of Earth Sea. Not my favorite. It, it had a really cool, like, look and everything, um, but it, it wasn't my favorite. And I'm, sh I'm sure the sun's really good. Um, it, the, just this, the movie itself just didn't really do anything for me. Um, but it's still an interesting watch. 
So give it a try. So yeah, Howl's Moving Castle is one a great one. I don't know which one's my favorite because I love a lot of them. But I'd say Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, which me and my dad used to watch together, which is great. Um, and what's that other movie? Uh, well, I really like Kiki's Lily series too. Uh, uh, Princess Mononoke is another really, really good one. So, Princess Mononoke was the first one of the Miyazaki films that I ever saw uh, as a kid. It blew my mind. I was just like, what is this magic? I was already kind of into anime. It's not, it's not anime, but I kind of compare it to anime because it's, it's not like you're watching a cartoon. It's it's different. Um, his movies are like movies. They're just animated. You know? Um, I One of the first animes I ever watched was Sigma Moon and Dragon Ball Z. And I was like totally into those. Uh, more so Sigma Moon than anything else. Though. And then as I got older, I watched a bunch of other ones. Like Pre-Tier is a really good one. Um, all the really girly ones. <laughs> Chill Bits I really liked. Uh, Trigun. Hello, Trigun. Trigun is a great anime. I don't care who you are. Oh my god. Um, Full Metal Alchemist is a fantastic anime. It, oh man, it's one of the best animes out there. It is so heart-wrenching. I just don't, like, you have to watch Full Metal. Full Metal, Trigun's really funny at first, but then, like, as the season goes on, it gets a little more serious, but it's a really good one. Like, honestly, that would be a fantastic live-action film, or, like, mini-series. God, I wish somebody would make it a mini-series, because that would be fantastic. Trigon would be amazing as that. Um, there's another one. Outlaw Star is pretty good. Um, I used to watch Gundam Wing, but I don't remember, like, what that's about. I just remember I really liked Catra, because he's, like, the sweetest one, and then there's, like, a couple episodes where he goes completely nuts, and he's, like, psycho, and I just love that. Um, but, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of good anime out there. A lot of good stuff. But, yeah, I would totally watch Full Metal, Alchemist, and Trigon, for sure. Those are the more, um, <clears throat> people say they're more geared towards men, but honestly, Full, full Metal blew my freaking mind. And Trigon's so funny, like, I don't know why people would say, like, it's just for guys or just for girls. They're really good. Um, if you're into, like, super cheese, I mean, I'm talking about mega cheese, cheesy, uh, Sailor Moon, for sure. It's so horribly awesome. First off, like, the, lo the love interest, like, relationship is kind of horrible. <clears throat> but as a kid, you're like, this is great. She's totally into this guy, and he's, like, totally into her. And it's fantastic. As you get older, you're like, wow, he's kind of a dick all the time. Like, why would you be into that? Um, but anyway, it's a good, it's a good one. Pre-tier is pretty cool. Um, I liked it because it got kind of serious, but it's another, like, really girly one. So, um, but, uh, she, she has cool outfits, and it's kind of awkward. There's a, there's a, something about Preacher that's a bit awkward, but you kind of get over it. I mean, with anime, anime is just kind of odd sometimes. Women turn into men sometimes. Men turn into women. Um, and I'm not talking about, like, transgender. I mean, like, it's like all of a sudden they're a man, and then they switch back to a woman, and it's like, that's their day. So, strange things like that. Um... Because I don't really think transgender is strange, so I don't want to make I don't want to make you guys feel like I'm talking about transgender being weird because it's not. Um, honestly, like I didn't even know what transgender was until like this past year and a half. Um, it was just so new to me. Same with like asexual and pansexual and all this other stuff. I am rambling, so uh, I'm gonna get off here because this video is gonna be super super long. Um, so yeah, check out all those movies and stuff. Make a list. They're good. They're good. Bye.